Hello my crafty friends and welcome to another card making video. Today I'm going to play with foiling, inking, as well as die cutting using my own collection. So Ginger is making an appearance today. He decided to check out on what I'm working on. And I will be using foiling plates from the June foiling kit by Spellbinders. It is all about uh, happy birthday this month. So you will get a big happy birthday which is going to make a, a great focal point for your card. Notice that it fits perfectly fine in uh, landscape as well as uh, it works great for uh, slimline cards. But if you try it uh, portrait, you will see that it is going to go outside of the borders. Just like always in the kit, you will get a foiling roll and lots of small secondary sentiments as well as a die to cut them out. So for today, since I have a big focal point to work with, which is the happy birthday, I'm going to create an inked background. I'm going to uh, make a sky using a stencil that has that cloud design. I'm starting from the bottom and I will move towards the top slowly. I'm using different shades of ink from uh, my Distress Oxide collection and I will start from darker and gradually go all the way to lighter color. I'm using my blending brush for that, making sure that I don't apply too much pressure. I want everything to be quite uh, subtle. I don't care if I make a mistake or if my stencil moves slightly. After all, most of it is going to be covered up at the end. I don't have a blending tool for every ink pad, but for different color families. I usually wipe them off on my kitchen uh, roll and I just move on to the next color. However, I do have one blending tool for lighter shades of blue and another for darker shades. And you can see here I reached all the way to the top and the background looks just stunning. There are many cloud stencils like this one available in the market. I'm going to link to the one that I used, but I'm sure you will be able to find lots of them. I absolutely love the result that you get with these stencils and here is a close-up look. So I'm going to put that aside and let's work on the foiling. Now I want to match the blues on my background, that's why I went with this blue foiling roll. Of course I went with a big happy birthday foiling plate as well as a smaller one that says wishing you an amazing day. I always like to secure everything down with uh, some masking tape. And after warming it enough for my glitter hot foil machine, I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. I like to do that a couple of times to get a good impression. And then I'm going to peel it off and you can see the result. I was super happy with the result, love how that blue is foiling, stands against that uh, white background. And I didn't have any over foiling at all, so I'm just going to use the dies to cut out the bigger and the smaller sentiment. And really with uh, focal points like these ones that do have a shine and they are quite big, you don't really need to do a lot for a card. You can just use this sentiment and stick it on top of a very busy background, of a colorful background. You can create a watercolor wash at the back and stick it on top. I am going with my inked sky. I did that foam tape at the back of both my sentiments so they really stand out. I'm going to add the secondary line and you can leave it as it is, however I cannot stay away from uh, bits and pieces from my own collection. I will be using the sweet birds so that I can dress it up a little bit more. And I cut out the branch from brown cardstock as well as uh, their feet and I went with yellows and oranges for my birds. I did put them together, are just uh, three pieces for each and every one of those birds, plus the feet if you want to add them. I did share how you can put them together in a previous video. Now the branch and the leaves do come in the same die set as the birds, so I wanted to embellish the top corner a little bit with that. So I'm just sticking the leaves on my branch, mainly staying at the tip of the branch since that's the only part that I'm going to use. If you want, you can also dress it up even more and add tiny little flowers. My berry art glue was perfect for the job since I was working with tiny pieces and that uh, fine tip really helped. Also notice how my die cut pieces interact with the main focal point. So some of the birds are uh, standing on top of the sentiments and uh, that leaf is also covering up one of the letters. I did make sure that even if I cover up some parts of the sentiment, it is still readable. And I always love some sparkle on my cards. That's why I'm using blue gems that match nicely with the blue of my background. 
and I'm going to call this card done. Here is a close-up look with all the shine and sparkle. Falling is really difficult to photograph, but in any case, here are some close-up photos where you can see the details better. And that was the video for today, I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Don't forget to like the video, to leave me a comment and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Down below in the description area, you will find a list of all the supplies that I used. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you will have a lovely day.